Before I get into the video, when this video gets posted, the giveaway on my Instagram should be live for you guys to enter to win a free pair of Nike Dunk Low Pandas. So make sure y'all go to the Instagram and check it out. And today's video is sponsored by Factory Lace. This is my first sponsorship. I really do appreciate them because the more sponsorships I get, you know, the more I can give back to you guys. So, you know, it's a win-win. But yeah, let's get into the video. Welcome back to another video. Stay focused, Frank here. All right, so let me just say, this video is gonna be about how I started reselling and how I started reselling sneakers. Kind of what I did in the beginning to get started, the tips and tricks and the stuff that I learned in the beginning. And I just wanna show you guys and tell you guys what I did and how I progressed into the way I sell shoes now. There's also some stuff that, that I did that I would recommend you avoiding because for me, I didn't really have a guide other than seeing other people do it. I saw people selling sneakers and I just thought it was a safe way to make money. So that's what I did. So yeah, basically this video is about how I started reselling and how you can too and also avoid the mistakes I made in the beginning when I started reselling sneakers. Now, let me just say, I started at the beginning of Rona season, literally like around March-ish when Corona started and everybody had a quarantine. I always had a money-making mindset and I kept losing money in the stock market because that was what I was doing. I was trying to do stock options and I lost a lot of money. I lost a lot of my life savings. I think I lost around like $2,000 and that was really a lot of money to me, especially when I was a freshman in college. I didn't really have much more money. I remember, I don't know if I still have the screenshot, but I had only like $500 in my checkings account. All the saved money I had was all gone in the stock market. I guess show a screenshot of all the money I lost in my Robinhood portfolio, but it looks a little better now because I did add a bunch more money into it thanks to sneaker reselling. But yeah, that's some backstory on why I started because I only had $500 and I needed a safe way to make some money. Even if it wasn't a lot of money, I would rather just have made some profit, some money because my idea of sneaker reselling was kind of like grabbing shoes for each retail and selling for like 20 30 dollars profit and just redoing that over and over again so the first thing i did when i started reselling sneakers i had no knowledge I actually had no knowledge on where to start when you guys ask me how did you start like what can you do to start because like they watch my videos but they still don't know how to start first i want to say just dive into it but i also want to say surround yourself with the information one of the first things i did was i followed a bunch of sneaker reselling pages like drops by leo how to cop instagram pages that showed you resale value and that told you when some shoes were dropping i'm just surrounding myself with this information just for me to like kind of soak it in i didn't buy any shoes yet i didn't sell anything yet but dipping my toe in into the sneaker reselling market trying to learn everything about it that's how i started so get familiar with the sneaker reselling market before you get started that's what i did another thing is all about information right i watch youtube videos one of my biggest inspirations one of my uh, closer friends now sneaker invest he helped me a lot i watched a lot of his videos as well as butter boy nova even though i don't even use bots i don't use any bots at all it was just great to see different ways you can make money because there's two content creators sneaker invest and butter boy nova they're making money off sneakers in two totally different ways and that just showed to me like how flexible you know the sneaker reselling market really is you can really like pick and choose your own lane into it or create a new one there's just different ways to go about it so what i first started doing i used my first 500 dollars. i sold off most of my collection that i had prior i just had like some basketball shoes that i don't use anymore i sold those i sold some random shoes in my collection a long time ago that i never even wear i just sold them on ebay or facebook marketplace offer up i'm just getting familiar with my local marketplaces now and i'm just trying to sell off anything i can just so i can have some capital to play with so when i first started off i tried going for retail drops coming to find out it is hard you cannot bank on having good weekly sales if you just rely getting shoes off websites or retail stores because it's super unreliable there's people that have done it for years and have so much more knowledge and know how to be quicker how to be faster on those sites it's really hard to get shoes on drop day and that got me really discouraged i looked to another avenue of making money selling sneakers and that was buying used shoes and buying shoes off local marketplaces cleaning them up and then selling them on the same marketplaces because for me since i did not use bots when i entered Foot Locker waiting rooms or first come first serve on some sites everything is sold out before 
before I could even check out, put it in my cart. And that was really discouraging to me. That's why I looked into different avenues and I found out that with used shoes, the market varies a lot because there's no set market. The condition of a used shoe is super flexible. You can't just go on StockX and see how much a used pair of Yeezy Zebras are. You can only know the brand new value. What you can do though, is compare to used shoes on other marketplaces like Goat or eBay. And that's what I did. And that's what I did to negotiate because with used shoes or older models of sneakers, it was so much easier to negotiate their use. The seller has a lot more room to negotiate and go lower for their price. So that was my big break. That's where I found most of the value starting off reselling. I would find used shoes and if they were dirty, I would clean them. So that would increase the value in the sneaker. When I first bought this pair of Yeezy Zebras, the bottoms had a lot of dirt around the boost and it just had a lot of scuff marks along the side of the shoe. And what I did was I cleaned it up with sneaker cleaning materials that I borrowed from a friend. I didn't have a brush. I, I first used a toothbrush and some soap, but my friend actually uh, let me borrow his sneaker cleaning kit. And that's how I started. Also, I started taking better pictures because I realized if it looks more appealing, you know, more people are going to look at it, more chances of somebody going to buy that shoe. So that's what I started doing. So that was the majority of what I did starting off. And I was able to build capital. Also, since I surrounded myself with the information earlier on how to cop retail drops on websites, sites like Foot Locker and other sites like Shopify sites, I was able to also get some pairs for retail and doing that also helped me expand my profits as well. And that helped me grow my capital. I was able to get a lot more sales and a lot more profit because I had more money to play with. With more capital, I was able to get more shoes and more sneakers that were used and I could clean them up. And you know, I didn't really always have like a good cleaner. It was mostly a toothbrush of mine and some soap. So that's where the sponsor of today's video comes in handy. This factory lace is a sneaker cleaning kit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna clean one of my personals, some Nike Dunks. Y'all know in my TikToks, I show them off. I'm always wearing them, I'm beating them up. It's gonna be perfect to see if it actually does its job. But yeah, let's check this out. There were so many goodies in this box. You got the hard bristle brush, you got the medium bristle brush, and the soft bristle brush, and it even came with this eraser that actually scrubbed away marks on the shoe. Can't forget the microfiber towel. Also came with the factory lace shampoo and the collapsible bowl to put your water in, and two shoe trees. My pandas is very poopy. All right, so I'm gonna clean one shoe. So look at how dirty this shoe is, okay? This is how you can restore extra profit onto your used sneakers. Look how dirty those bottoms are. Shoe trees in, put water in the bowl, put that magic shampoo, and I put the medium bristle brush on the uppers, and I just went to town, and then cleaned it with the cloth. And look at that difference, bro. Even some of the creases went away. Okay, top shoe didn't clean, and bottom shoe, shoo! Now I'm gonna clean the bottoms with the hard brush. Look at the difference. Shine! Now y'all, y'all can get your own box and the link in my description, use Frank 15 for 15% off your first factory laced shoe cleaning kit. That 15% will come in handy. I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta invest in yourself and your business and it's gonna pay you back tenfold. Shout out to factory laced again and make sure y'all check the link in the description if you wanna get your own shoe cleaning kit. Going back to what I was saying, that's basically how I was able to scale my business by cleaning used shoes and reselling them for a higher amount to collect the profit. As well as doing that, I was learning how how to be able to purchase retail pairs online in websites. Later into the future, I learned how to buy them more in-store and got connected with a lot of in-store info to better cop for retail and to better my business and better my profit. But that's where I started off. It started off with used sneakers because it was easier to negotiate a little bit more handwork but it's the easiest way to start off with the least amount of capital and you don't have to buy any bots no purchase necessary except the shoes itself and you know a cleaning kit and once you do that you can literally scale a business just from cleaning shoes and reselling them and that's how i started off some tips that i could tell y'all is that i got most of my pairs from local marketplaces and the best thing to do always check them regularly set a time for every day you know how when you wake up you always go on your phone check tiktok check instagram whatever do that with your finance for sneakers you know whenever you wake up or when you're eating or doing something that doesn't require too much brain power you can also be looking in your local marketplaces looking at pairs online negotiating with people seeing if you can get a good deal for some shoes 
And then once you get them, clean them up and post them up as soon as possible and just keep reloading your inventory so that in turn, you can have a lot more money coming in and out and just getting a lot more profit, building that capital up to where you can start doing other things related to sneaker reselling or related to starting your business that you wanna start. It all just starts with having some capital to play with. The easiest way for me to build them up was flipping you sneakers. But yeah, guys, I really hope that helped you guys. You know, that was my path to starting. You guys could definitely choose a different avenue or go a different way, start your own wave. And that is perfectly fine because I see that there's always new sellers always popping up on my Instagram, a lot of new content creators. It's just a lot of respect to them because everybody's hustling. Everybody's trying to get their own. So I really do appreciate that. And we all did it from just sneakers. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope everything goes good for y'all in the future, business related. And as always, stay focused. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.